Hi guys, it's Caitlin Johnson and welcome back to another video on my channel. Yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a day in my life video during summer, which is why I have a bikini on right now because I'm getting ready to go tan. First, I want to make my smoothie. Basically, I have a smoothie on. Oh my god. I have a smoothie almost every morning before I go tan or just in general because I don't really like eating a lot in the morning. It's just something my body doesn't like. So I'm gonna show you guys my infamous smoothie that's so good and I really recommend it. You guys are literally in my sink right now. There's no place better to put it. That's so awkward, okay. This is about how much water I put in the beginning of it and then I'll just add more later if I want to. Then I add some fried bananas. I'm gonna put a couple of blueberries in it because I don't like blueberries that much. But I also just don't like the taste of only. Yeah. I'm gonna still keep the stuff out because I add a lot more to it later on. That's just how I make my stuff. I add to it later. I do a half tablespoon of chia seeds and I put them all in there. So this is what it looks like. Disgusting! Really scrumptious, I know. Fun fact about me I'm actually terrified of the sound of a blunder. It's done. I didn't make a lot this time because I'm not really hungry right now, so I just made this much. But let's try it. Perfect. My smoothies are usually sour just because I don't like adding sugar or honey or anything to it because I like to keep them as healthy as I possibly can because this is the only healthy thing that I eat or drink, so now I need to go clean up everything. Before I go outside, I have to mail the package, so I need to write their address and everything on them. I sold these shorts, so go check out my Depop. Now I just need to write the little letter that I sent. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, dude, I'm just telling you, you know, in your like recent TikTok, how you said like your Instagram was in your bio? Yeah, I clicked on it and then it was like user not found. So I don't know if you want to check that out, but just saying. Oh, okay, yeah, thanks, bud. Okay, thanks, bud. Mm, love you. Okay, so I wrote her a little letter. It just looks like this. So if you're watching this, Emma, thank you for buying from me. It means a lot. And there's your little card in there. So every time I want to go tan, they're out here doing construction. And if you can see it, they blew all of their dirt right onto my tanning chair. So every time I tan, I literally get so much dirt all over me. And it's so annoying, but I still want to tan because I'm pale. So and this is actually kind of nice lighting. Maybe I should film my th thumbnail. Oh my God. <laughs> My mom is outside and just scared the living crap out of me. I thought someone was just gonna like, come kill me. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up and everything and I'm gonna take my computer outside because I'm gonna watch YouTube, tan, and drink my breakfast. So yeah, I'll see you guys outside. Okay, yeah, no. I'm not doing anything out here anymore, it's annoying. Okay, I'm back inside. The construction today was literally extra annoying for some reason and I just couldn't sit out any longer. I stood out for like literally a second. But now I'm going to edit the first part of this video and then I have to clean my room at some point. It's kind of, it's kind of messy. I'm going to have to clean that at some point. And then I have to drop off something for my mom, so I'll just take you guys along with me whenever I do any of that stuff. So I just finished editing the first part of this video. And I cleaned up my room a little bit. I still have to put like tons of clothes up, but I don't feel like it because that's the worst part of cleaning your room. So I'm not gonna do that yet. But I did just get ready. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Here's my top. It's from Victoria's Secret Pink. My shorts are from Forever 21, I think. So yeah, here's just my outfit. And the reason I got ready is because I'm gonna hang out with my friend Mary Ellen, probably. But she has a hair appointment like 40 minutes away from here, 50, an hour. And then she has to take home her brother and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna get ready now because I might run up to Target or Walmart to grab some things that I need. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. I don't know if I want to do like a full face makeup, like foundation and everything, or if I just want to do it's really simple then again I haven't done like foundation and everything in so long I was supposed to get my nails done today because I broke one yesterday but my nail tech doesn't work on Wednesdays and I forgot that and I called I was like hey I need to get my nails fixed is like so and so in and they were like no she's off today and I was like yep it is Wednesday I'm gonna go tomorrow at 11 oh my god I forgot to brush my teeth first I need to go brush my teeth okay 
I'm back with clean teeth. BoxyCharm sent me these Lily lashes and I literally want to try them so bad. I want to see what I look like with like long voluptuous nice looking lashes like because every other girl rocks them and I just have a feeling that I don't know how to put them on. I am finished with all of my makeup, well like my base makeup. So now do I try to do the lashes? <laughs> I think I got I honestly have no idea how to freaking do this. Not bad. Okay, well, there's your fail for the day because I have no idea how to do that. If you know how to put on stupid lashes, comment down below because that's obviously not the way to do it. If anyone wants to, like, PayPal me money to get eyelash extensions, my PayPal is down below, you know? Go help a woman out because I can't put on fake lashes. I might as well just get extensions, so... That failed. Okay, I'll be back when I have my mascara on. Here's my makeup for the day. How do you like be a makeup guru? Like, do you like. <laughs> oh my god, I look so stupid. Okay, do I go to Target and get Starbucks or do I go to Walmart and get Taco Bell? Okay, well, I just made the decision that I'm gonna go get a car wash. Because look at this. Right on the top. She really dirty. I'm gonna go get a car wash. Oh crap, it's hot. It's so hot in here. Oh my god. Okay, so I have a check to drop off for my mom as well. I'm gonna go get a car wash first. I love the steering wheel and everything, but the worst part about it is that the rhinestones get hot. Like, hot, hot. She kind of painful. Okay. No. On the way over here, my camera fell and I had to like catch it. And when I just turned my camera on, all you could see was white. And I seriously thought I just broke my camera, but I guess I just turned it on a setting that's like really high exposure. I seriously just thought that my camera completely just broke. So I don't know if I can pay with cash on this one. There was no one here when I first got here. And then I had to just like go over and try to fix my camera. And now there's four people online, so. Okay. We're gonna play some music while we sit here in this. Even if I told you still wanna understand what me and we used to have Oh my god, I want a Travis Scott case. Like the Astro World cases. I literally love this song and my boyfriend doesn't like it. I know we never said where we drew the line But I was in your bed almost every night But now there's nothing left Cause you did nothing right Hi buddy Oh, I'm literally almost out of battery on this one Okay, we'll change fun. it later Where are we gonna eat? I have 15 whole dollars and actually 14.50 in my account So that's fun I do have the money what I'm in the mood for? What? Panera. <gasps> oh, that sounds so good. Darting <laughs> root to Panera bread. Panera. You're on duty for making sure it doesn't fall off. Okay. Sounds like a hard job. I'm scared. <laughs> I just okay, made eye contact just, with that guy. Really and it was very awkward. <laughs> Which guy? It's a bunch of teenagers. So I was like, East St. Louis. East St. Louis. This is my first. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. Surprise. I wanna help you sleep at night. Then we're not going to the yeah. similar one. Sorry! That guy's so mad at me! I'm so sorry. We're playing with love nights. It's not about the money, money, money. Oh my god, you're so cute! Oh. Thank you! Aww. You guys, she's beautiful. What the heck? When you don't know the words.
words exactly, so you kind of just know what I thought I hit something! Oh, it's your clap! Oh! All I need is a little love in the dark A little but I'm hoping it might kickstart Me and my broken heart You're just me crying to be a good YouTuber Dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us. And yes, of course we does. We run in this town just like a club. We call it Sonera. Oh yeah. Not St. Louis Bread Co. After what seemed like for an eternity. Yeah, that was quite the long um, wait. Just the people in front of us. Yeah, there was really old people in front of us and they wouldn't stop talking and you know how it goes. The girl thought I said my name was Messy instead of Missy. We have food. I made a mistake. <laughs> I meant to get the large one, because look how tiny that is. Oh, it has a cork. <laughs> okay, my question that I got on Instagram was, do you love your mom from my mom? I love your mom. She's my second mom. Riley said, some goals you want to achieve and thoughts on senior year. My biggest goal in life is to become a therapist. And then besides that, it's like to have two kids named Baby Bo and Angel May. That's oh my God, cute. people are gonna think that I meant Bo. <laughs> Mine are probably become some sort of graphic designer and then like get married, have a family kind of stuff. I really Basically. like the name Blakely for a girl. That's all I know though. I want two kids, I think. Thoughts on senior year? No. <laughs> Just the fact that like it's we're senior seniors, year. it doesn't feel right. That's all. I feel like every YouTube video I've watched of them talking about senior year, they're like, oh my god, it went by so fast. But like, if you're an incoming freshman, literally don't waste it like I did. No, don't do it. I wasted freshman year, I wasted sophomore year, junior year I was finally like, oh crap, like it's kind of going by fast. Yeah. We didn't like even get true. our junior year. Yeah, we really didn't. We m literally missed half of it. And now senior year is here. Enjoy it. It really does go by fast. And people tell you that, but like you don't believe them until it actually happens. Like, don't waste it, enjoy I every minute. I thought they were just being like cliche and annoying. Yeah, like go to go to all the soccer games and football yes. games and everything. We don't have a football team, but if we did, I would have gone. Go hang out with friends. Like, dude, yes. don't. Yes, oh my god. Um, don't put your social life on hold. Just because, because that's what we had to do and it was not, well, we chose, not really had, but, but we, okay, so we felt like we had to. We got to a college prep school. I've said this in one of my videos, which college prep is like a hard school, okay? So we literally, honestly, had to kind of put our social life on hold. But then if we went to like a normal like public school, we wouldn't have had to. So if you can help it, don't do that. Hang out with your friends, enjoy your time. Try not to stress too much. I've spent way too many times, like days crying. It's not good. Dating advice from us. <laughs> Make sure you look out for the red flags. If they put your friends before you, leave, please. Their friends. Don't, yeah, put, <laughs> if they put their friends before you, please leave. Don't date them for over a year and then leave. Not good. It's a waste of your time. I also had a question from one of my subscribers and they're asking like advice for like freshmen and like oncoming high schoolers. Don't be the hoey freshman. Please. That's literally all I have Please to tell you. Please don't. It's hard being a freshman, especially if you're like the only one from like your grade school that went to that school or whatever, but don't be a hoey freshman. High school is for like dating guys, having fun with different guys or whatever. I wouldn't know that because I'm literally been with the same one. But supposedly that's what it's for. Honestly, you can do that. I'm not judging you. Do it carefully. Don't be the person that jumps from guy to guy and has yeah. all the guys hate her after it. Like, yeah, don't do that. It will give you the worst reputation, I promise you. It will give you the worst reputation with girls and the guys. Yeah. When I was a freshman, I thought that all the seniors and juniors and sophomores were staring at me, laughing at me. They don't give one crap no, about you. No, they don't. They don't give a crap about you. Coming from seniors perspectives, we don't care about the freshmen. We don't pay attention to them like Literally, walking in the halls or anything. <laughs> the freshmen are focused on sophomore, junior, seniors. Sophomores are focused on junior, seniors. Juniors are focused Focus on seniors. Seniors don't care. Riley also said favorite song right now and favorite music artist. I don't have one if I'm being honest. I've been listening to Madison Beer so much. Like Madison Beer, I listen to her all the time. My favorite song right now, like at this second I'm saying something, is probably Selfish, but that's in a close tie with Dear Society. At the same time, Madison Beer is probably not my favorite artist. My favorite artists are like Post Malone, Billie Eilish, um, Post Malone, Billy, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aw, Mia said, how are you guys doing? Miss you so much. Oh my God, I miss you more than anything. Like, oh my God, I miss you too much. Please come back soon to visit or I'll go to Brazil. I'm okay with that. 
<laughs> I'm okay we'll with just, going to Brazil. We'll go on a trip to visit you. You don't have to come get us. Last question. Ivana's boyfriend asked if he can get some ice cream. If you come to my work, yes, but I'm not driving all the way to bring you some ice cream. I'm sorry. And then to the best friend tag questions. How and when did you and your best friend meet? We went to the same grade school. Yeah, we've known each other since what? Second grade? When second grade. Came? Well, I walked up to you <laughs> and you said that your name is Mary Ellen to write down. I said, no, we don't need middle names. Yeah. I just thought you were pretty cool and like funny because we kept messing around. <laughs> My first impression of Mary Ellen was someone that I didn't have to like try hard to be friends with. But like when I became friends with Mary Ellen, like it was so easy. I think that's how you really know that like that's your best friend is like when you just don't even have to try. What's your favorite memory together? You have to realize that we've been best friends since <laughs> sixth grade. I know, I don't know. All I can think of is like vacations. That's really like some of my favorite ones I if got I'm it. being honest. Oh my, my god, favorite one. <laughs> Wesley and Cole. That's what I was gonna say! I was gonna say Wesley and Cole! Oh my god! Oh my, oh god. my god! So we both had this huge crush on Wesley. We practically stalked them. We did. <laughs> my favorite memory was when we were trying to get their attention. <laughs> we were the door. in <laughs> Yeah, we were in like this pool place. We kept running up to the door, kicking it so it opened and running back as <laughs> as we could so we could get them to look <laughs> and maybe come inside. Out of all the memories, we both thought of that one. Sorry, more. I think I peed my pants that day. <laughs> and my pajamas and everything. She tried to tell us to leave. <laughs> it was the middle of the night and I started my period and I went through, like through my pajamas and bled all over the bed. <laughs> it was the white, the bed. white <laughs> sheets. It was awful. It literally looked like a horror scene, like a freaking horror movie, like murder scene. It was not good. There was like just a red spot <laughs> on the sheets. And then, and then we went to eat breakfast <laughs> and I didn't notice until we were back. So I bled on, bled on the seat when we were eating breakfast <laughs> and I had blood on the back of my pants or my shorts <laughs> or whatever. Your mom didn't say anything. I don't think Neil did either. I'm sure they probably noticed. I'm sure they did. Don't know how they could have not. We always watched like <laughs> criminal minds and like police shows and stuff like that. And Forensic and so Files. Forensic Files is what we were watching. It came up with the guy that was that was like murderous or something. <laughs> oh God! When I tell you, both of us just started breaking down in <laughs> complete tears. We were hysterically crying. He was the scariest, scariest looking man oh we had ever seen. And it's like what? Four hours later. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And we got yo toppings. I, I frozen frozen yogurt. Tech. 